Hey everyone, in this video we are going to explore how you can connect Google Sheets to Google Tasks using Apps Script. So why would you want to do this? Well, imagine planning an entire project in a Google Sheet, all your phases and tasks laid out perfectly, then with a single click, automatically creating every single one of those tasks in your Google Tasks app. So that's what we're making today, a system that enables you to bulk create those tasks, update their statuses, all from a single spreadsheet. So let's jump right in. To get started, in your Google Sheet, go to Extensions and click on App Script. The most important step is to tell our script it's allowed to talk to Google Tasks. In the editor, look for Services on the left-hand side and click on the plus icon, and then scroll down and find the Google Tasks API and click Add. This gives our script the superpower to manage tasks. Okay, let's write our first piece of code. To start with, I'm going to delete this code and define a new function. And this function is called list tasks. The first thing we need to do is to get a list of our task lists. Think of these as different notebooks for your tasks like work, personal, or groceries. So let's define a new variable. And we can do that by typing in const. It's a constant variable. And I'm going to call this task lists. Type in equals. And then I'm going to use the Google Tasks service. And then we're going to use the task lists property. And within that property, we're going to use the list method. And now let's make a new line. And I'm going to log to the console the results of our task lists variable. Okay, so let's press save and run this code now. It's the first time we're running this code, so we need to review the permissions, select our Google account and authorize it. Now let's check the execution log at the bottom. You'll see an object full of information and inside this object, you'll find the title, which is here. In this case, it's called my tasks. And most importantly, we also see the ID. So each task list has a unique ID and we need this for everything else we do. Okay, so now we can get a list of our task lists. Now let's look at actually looking at the tasks inside those lists. So let's expand our function. So I'm going to use the task lists variable. And then what we're going to do is loop through the property called items which is just an array of our lists. And to do this, we're going to use for each. So let's type in task lists dot items dot for each. And a for each loop is essentially going to run this block of code for every single item in the list. So now let's define what we want this to do for us. So firstly, I'm going to assign a new variable and this one's going to be called task list ID and essentially inside of a loop we're going to grab the task list ID of each list and now I'm going to define another variable called tasks. So this is going to be a new API call and we're going to use the task service again and this time instead of task lists we're going to use tasks and similar to before we're going to use the list method and then we're going to pass it the task list ID tell it which list we want to get our tasks from. So now let's log this to the console and just check this is working so far. So let's use console.log and then enter in our tasks variable in here. And now if we run this again, so we've got lots more data in our console log this time. So if we go straight to the top, this is the first line we're logging, the information about our task lists, in this case, my tasks. And now in this section, we're looping through each of those tasks in that task list. So for each task, we can see information such as its ID, its title, when it was last updated, and if it's completed, we get a completed date here as well. So now let's do another loop. So to do this, I'm going to type in tasks, dot items, very similar to before, and then use a for each method again, open brackets, and for each row or line in that array, we're gonna call this task. So for each task in tasks, we are then going to execute this code 
to list all of the tasks we've just fetched. So to save a bit of time, I'm just gonna copy and paste this in here. And now let's press run again. Okay, so down here in our execution log, we've now got a much easier to read list, listing firstly, the task list title, which is here. Then the name of that task, which we're logging over here, so task.title, and then followed by its unique ID, which is captured here, so task.id. Okay, now it's time to make some things happen. We've looked at how to list tasks. Now let's look at how we can add a new task directly from our script. So to do this, I'm going to define a new function, and this function is called add task. The first thing we need to do is define a new variable called task list ID. And then I need to give it the ID of the task list I want to update. So if we go back into our execution log over here, I can see I've got the task list ID here. So let's copy this into here. And now I'm going to make a new variable. This time I'm going to use let and I'm going to call this task details. And this is going to be an object. And within here, I'm going to define two properties, starting with title, and let's call this something like finalize report. And let's define another property called notes. And let's just type in due by Friday. And now I'm going to define one last variable. This one's going to be called created task. We're going to make an API call here using tasks dot tasks and this time using the insert method. And this takes a couple of parameters. The first one is going to be our task details, followed by the ID of the task list where we want to add our new task. And let's also log this to a console. So let's use console.log and I'm going to type in task created then followed by the ID of that new task as well. And we can get that ID by entering created task.id. Perfect, so let's hit save. So first, before I run this, let's jump back into our Google Sheet and I'm going to open up tasks on the sidebar just to see what current tasks I've got listed. Okay, so just free there at the moment. Let's go back into our script. And now let's try running add task. We need to review permissions again as we've made some changes and are using a different method within our script. Let's press continue. And success, task created. And if we jump back to our sheet and now within Google Tasks on the right hand side, I can see my new task has been added here. So we've made good progress, but hard coding the task details in our script isn't very practical. What if we could list all of our new tasks in a spreadsheet and then add them all in one go? So let's level up this script. I've got another sheet here called tasks. And I've added some tasks here earlier, which I want to add into Google Tasks. Now for each of these, I've got a title and I've got some notes I want to add as well. So let's go back into our script now. We're going to write another new function, and this function is going to be called add tasks from sheet. And as you might have guessed, this function is going to read all of the tasks from our sheet, and for every row, it's going to create a new task. So to get the data from our sheet, firstly, let's define a new variable uh, called ss, short for spreadsheet and we're going to use the spreadsheet app and we're going to get the active spreadsheet. Then let's define another new variable. This one's gonna be called sheet. We're going to call the variable we used earlier, ss, and this time we're going to use get sheet by name. Use the open brackets and in here, I'm gonna define the name of my sheet, which in this case is called tasks. And then let's set up another new variable. Here we're going to use uh, some more modern JavaScript syntax to make this a little bit more efficient. I'm going to define a variable here called header. And then I'm going to use spread syntax to put the rest of the rows into data. So then our header row goes into header and all the data goes into the data variable. And to do this, 
we're going to use sheet, which we defined just up here. Then we're going to get the data range, so get the active range of data containing values, and then we're going to get those values as well. So let's just try this first of all, make sure it's all working. So I'm going to use console.log and then log the data variable to our console. So let's save this and try this now. We're using a new service, so we need to review our permissions again and let AppScript know that we trust this. And here you can see we've got all of our values from the spreadsheet. All put nicely into an array for us. Now, very similar to before, we're going to use the for each method again. So this time uh, we're going to use it with our data variable and go through each line or each row within our spreadsheet. So let's call this row. And now let's add the code we want to execute for each row of our spreadsheet. So in here, the first variable I'm going to define is going to be called title. And we can do something clever here to get the title. And this is a smart part of getting data from your spreadsheet. Instead of defining row and then the position of the column named title, what we're going to do is something more robust. We're going to use the header variable, which contains an array of our headers. And then we're going to use the index of method. And we're going to look for title. And this just means that it doesn't matter if the structure of our sheet changes in the future, as long as we've got a column called title, it's going to find the correct column for us. So let's also do this with a notes column as well. So let's type in row again, and then header dot index of notes. And for a more detailed description of how this works, check out the video which should be popping up in your screens right now. Okay, the next thing we need to do is call our add task function. But before we do that, we need to make a couple of changes. Now for this to work, we need to make some changes to our add task function. As right now, the title and notes for our task are hard coded into this function. So we need to change this function into a reusable tool. So let's add a couple of new variables up here, which we can pass to it. One called title and one called notes. And then all we need to do is simply replace where we've got finalized reports with our title variable being passed to this function and do the same for notes. So now let's go back down to our, to our add tasks from sheet function. And now let's call the add task function and then pass it both of our title from here, from our spreadsheet and notes. Now let's save this. And then if we run this and switch back into our spreadsheet, you can see on the right hand side, my new tasks have been added. And as you can see for each one, it's also pulled through the notes column as well. Now that we've mastered creating tasks, let's look at the full script and Google Sheets, which can sync tasks, update the status of tasks and make changes to existing tasks as well. In this Google Sheet, I've defined a list of tasks for a project. In the first column, we're listing the parent task. That's one of the nice things you can do with Google Tasks is have parent tasks and subtasks. In the next column, just like before, we've got the task title and task notes. I've also added a deadline column, and this will include information about when that task needs to be completed. And over here, I've got three other additional columns where we're going to write information back to this sheet. So firstly, we're going to capture the task ID when we create that task and record that in the sheet. We're also going to capture its current status and whether it's completed or not. And to make this really user friendly, I've also created a menu called Google Task Sync. So before I use this, the first thing I'm going to do is open up Google Tasks on the right hand side. And currently I've only got one task list I want to create a separate task list just for this project. Let's call this project X. Okay, and it's currently empty. Okay, now let's go over to our menu and select sync tasks to task list. We need to give it authorization, of course, as the first time we're running this. And then we get prompted for the name of a task list we want to update. So in this case, I'm going to update project X and press okay. And then as you can see, 
all of our tasks and subtasks are being created. We get a notification letting us know it's been completed. And for each of these tasks, we also have the due date recorded here as well. So this is going to be really useful for anyone wanting to bulk manage tasks. The other thing you can do from this is if we scroll over to the right hand side and let's tick off a few of these tasks as being completed. Now let's go back to the sync tasks and run this again. Okay, it's going to prompt us for this again. We could hard code this as well if we wanted to save it so we didn't have to enter this every time and press OK. And then we should see these tasks being ticked off our list. Perfect. Let's now have a look at the script. So this script is pretty similar to what we did before, but we've just added in some more error handling and a few new features. So let's go through what each of these functions is doing. At the top here, we're using onOpen function. This is a special magic function in AppScript that runs automatically when you open the sheet. So in this case, we're using uh, the spreadsheet app and get UI to create a menu with one menu item. And the menu item is called sync tasks to task list and it's running the function called sync tasks, which is our next function down here. So first of all, we're prompting the user for their task list ID, or at least the name of that task, and then we do a lookup to find that ID. And then just like before, we're getting the data from our Google Sheets. So we're getting all of those headers and rows. And then in the next section of code, we're syncing the tasks from our Google Sheet and using create or update, depending on whether we're updating an existing task or creating a new task. Next, it will also sync new tasks added in Google Tasks to the Google Sheet as well. And then we write that data back to the sheets down here. And further down here, we've got a couple of helper functions. The first one is handling the generation of that user interface at the beginning, where we're asking the user for the name of their task list. And we're looking up uh, and finding that task list within their list of task lists to get its ID. And then we've got another helper function here called get Google Tasks. And this simply retrieves all tasks from a given task list, very similar to what we were doing before in our earlier and simpler script. I'll just make this code easier to manage. We also had a couple of other helper functions here, one for getting sheet headers and another for getting sheet data. And then further down here, another helper function, this one very similar to the add tasks function we created earlier. Uh, but in this case, we've just got more error handling here. And it's also been adapted to handle adding a subtask to another task. And we can do that in the task creation. So when we're inserting a new task, we're providing the task details and ID just like before, but we also provide some extra options, which includes the parent ID. And that tells Google Tasks API where uh, this task should be inserted. And one last function down here, this one is for updating tasks in Google Tasks. So if you have a look down here, this time we're using the patch method. And in this case, we're passing it the payload, which is the information we want to update, whether that's the title, notes, or status, followed by the task list ID, and then the ID of the task we want to update which is why we're recording this to our spreadsheet. Okay, and one more function right at the bottom here. This one is just formatting our task object into a 2D array to make it easier to insert into our Google Sheets. And there you have it, a fully operational task management dashboard built into Google Sheets. You can find the full script in the description below so that you can copy and paste it into your own project. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you found it useful, then please do like and subscribe to this channel and keep a lookout for my future video where I'll be taking it a step further, bringing Gemini into the mix to automatically have Gemini scan our incoming email for any tasks we need to have added to our task list. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.